So just to see what's going on, we're going to prove that if you add up all of these odd numbers, you're going to get the term number squared. So if you add up the first three numbers, for example, 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9, first three numbers, n is 3, so that equals 3 squared, and oh my god, it works, right? That's what we're doing. We sometimes lose the forest for the trees in these things, because what how we're going to prove it is not super intuitive. Um, the first step in a proof by induction is always to prove that it works for the first number. Uh, so get some starting spot. So we're going to say when n is 1, the left side is just the first number, right? You can see it there is 1. You can also tell that it works from the formula generating the left side. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1. So it doesn't have to be 1, but whatever it is, it has to match what's on the right. So 1 squared is 1. They match. We're happy. So it works when n is 1. Now we're going to make our induction hypothesis. We know it works for the first number. We're going to assume it works for another number. So assume the statement is true um, when n equals some integer k. So we're just going to write, this is another easy step, just rewrite the original formula with k's instead of n's. So we're going to assume it's true for some k. Now we're going to prove that the statement is true when n is k plus 1. And this is going to be like a proof, proof by induction is almost like proof by domino effect, right? If it's true for this one, and then it's true for the next one. As long as we have one starting spot, it kind of goes on and on. So, if we want to prove that this is true for the k plus 1 term, we're trying to prove that the first term plus the second term plus the third term plus the dot 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 term plus the kth term plus the k plus 1 term equals the k plus 1 squared. So all this is getting you up to your kth term, so it's just the original part, and then adding the k plus 1 term, so the original part with the k plus 1. That's supposed to equal k plus 1 squared. Now this whole first chunk that I made you write out, that some people don't bother to write out, is always the same as the, it takes you up to the kth term, which we assumed in our second step was equal to k squared. So all of this mess is supposed to equal k squared. And if I add this k plus 1 term to k plus 2 minus 1 is plus 1, hopefully if I fiddle with this side, it'll equal that side. And indeed, this one falls out quite nicely because this factors to k plus 1 times k plus 1, which is k plus 1 squared, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. And that's is our proof by induction.